Every year, the Republican supermajority legislature considers an omnibus alcohol bill, and this year, I'm told you can expect more bar and restaurant licenses. Just by sheer nature, the fact that we're growing, we have to increase a little bit. Uh, we're going to be reasonable in that. Utah's an outlier. We always have been. Our desire is to... Um, to be judicious and smart in the way we do this. The problem is this, bar licenses are in such high demand that a business has to be ready to open with no guarantee they'll actually get one. The legislature actually commissioned a study to find out if Utah's really too strict with them. We have a population quota system that awards one bar license per 10,200 residents. It's a completely arbitrary number made up by the legislature years ago. What I'm told is the study found Utah is an outlier. Other liquor control states have one bar license per 5,000 residents. But lawmakers have chosen to apply a social impact on that, balancing the need for public safety and alcohol abuse prevention. So here's what the House sponsor of the liquor bill says he'll push for. We would not go down to one per 5,000. We think that's too drastic. We would, we would probably uh, look in the neighborhood of maybe uh, one to seven or 8,000. And that's what we're looking at. Um, those numbers are still being worked. But uh, at the end of the day, we think just by sheer virtue of the fact that we're growing, we need to increase those uh, numbers uh, just a little bit. The legislature is looking to offer even more restaurant licenses. The difference is restaurants cannot have more than 30% of their total sales be alcohol, and minors can be allowed on the premises. The licenses would be phased in, but bottom line, it does make more available in Utah. The Salt Lake Area Restaurant Association says it's grateful that lawmakers are considering increasing restaurant and bar licenses, adding that for years, entrepreneurs have had unnatural constraints in growing their businesses. The organization notes the restaurant and bar industry is the second largest income generator for Utah and calls it a welcome change. Now, in terms of what else you can see in the liquor bill, lawmakers are looking at a thing called place of last drink. It would allow them in DUI rest to track where people have been drinking and identify any potential problem spots. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.